Today I'm wearing a blazer, and blazers mean business. Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and today I want to talk about something that I find fascinating, and that is the original prices of my typewriters. So I was scrolling through eBay, as one does, and I found these old advertisements for some of the typewriters that are actually in my collection, and I was able to see on these advertisements the original prices of my typewriters when they were sold in the year that they were made. So I found a couple of ads that are related to typewriters in my own collection. I purchased those ads. I will place the eBay seller below so you guys can check out his stuff. He has a lot of typewriter ads in there and a lot of other old advertisements for you to pick from. And I had them sent to my house and I did some math. Well, I had the internet do some math for me so I could see what inflation looked like on these typewriters. So I'm going to have my magic calculator here with all of the numbers on it. I did check the prices in three different locations and I've listed all three calculation tools below in the description. I used an inflation tool, an inflation calculator, and westegg.com to check out all the prices from the original year that the typewriter was made and adjusting for inflation in 2020. So the first typewriter up is my Royal Futura 800. This is Covey, I love him. He's from 1961 and in 1961, one, he cost $142.13, which in $2020 is about $1,226.06. On US Inflation Calculator, that's about $1,218.75, and on WestEgg.com for 2019, it's about $1,231.85. I bought this typewriter for $12, and to know that it's worth about $1,200 at the original point of sale is really interesting to me, just to see how the price of typewriters has devalued over time, and to see what the inflation is for those typewriters. I wonder how much an iced coffee cost in 1961. So the next ad that I found was for my beautiful Smith Corona pacemaker, Dame Maggie Smith, and I actually ended up with two advertisements to compare for this typewriter because one of them was on the back of the Royal Futura ad. I had no idea magazines had a back page. And I was able to compare those ads for this typewriter. I bought this typewriter for about $25 at my local antique mall, the Antique Depot. I often frequent it and this is one of my favorite purchases from there ever. The original typewriter on the 1961 ad listed this typewriter at $200.87 and in today's money the West Egg listed that as $17.40, the calculator listed that for $17.22, and the inflation tool listed that as $17.27. Now an important thing to note here is just because a typewriter sold for what is now $1,700 does not mean that the typewriter is actually worth $1,700 today. Realistically, a typewriter is worth exactly what somebody wants to pay for it. All typewriters to me are worth $25. But unless I get really famous, which you can help me by subscribing and following me on Instagram, that would be nice. Thank you. This typewriter is only worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. I'd place this typewriter around $50 to $75 if I got really, really lucky and I didn't have to pay for shipping. So this is Georgiana, my 1956 Royal Aristocrat. I got her for about $25 on Facebook Marketplace, and the original advertisement had her listed for $111. Now $111, that's Bilbo Baggins' birthday at the beginning of Lord of the Rings. You're welcome for this information. If you win Jeopardy, I would like half of your winnings. But in inflation tool and calculations, that $111 from 1956 to 2020 money on the inflation tool is listed as 1066, excellent year. We also have 1048 on inflation calculator and 1060 on West Egg. So this typewriter that cost me $25 when I first got it is worth around $1,050 to $55, which is amazing in 2020 money. Again, that doesn't mean I'd be able to sell it for that, but if we were to sell it at that original price in today's money, that's what it would be worth. And finally, we have my 1953 Royal Quiet Deluxe Diana. And I got this typewriter for free, so it's all profit for me at this point. In 1953, this typewriter was originally retailed for $103.58. So on Inflation Calculator, the inflation tool won't go back that far to 1953. So on Inflation Calculator, that's $994.64. And on West Egg, again in 2019 money, because apparently 2020 didn't exist, 
<laughs> this typewriter is worth a thousand and three dollars and eighty cents. So. This typewriter, which I got for free, if sold today in 2020 money, is worth around $1,000. At that original retail price, not worth that much, I swear, unless I become really, really famous, which is totally not possible. So again, I think it's really interesting to see what our typewriters originally sold for when they were sold at the time. This was like buying a new computer, and computers nowadays are around those prices. So it's really interesting to see how that money has converted and inflated over time to be that much, you wouldn't think of spending $1,000 on a typewriter today, but you wouldn't bat an eye at spending $1,000 on a new phone or a new computer. So it's really interesting to see how this old ancient technology is still valued around the same as we have for our new technology, my magic calculator. So if you guys are interested in more typewriter content, I highly suggest you check out more videos on this YouTube channel. We have typewriter crafts. Um, repair videos, type tests, challenges, some new videos coming out as well. So I hope you guys check those out. Also, we have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. We post a lot of typewriter content on there and there's a lot of photos of the rest of my collection which you guys can check out there as well. I wanna thank you so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type, writer.